guys welcome to our channel we are here in Cherokee North Carolina and we are on our way to the Cherokee KOA campground to stay tonight so we're excited about that gonna cook up some dinner on the Blackstone look at there they've got bold peanuts in here This is it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? Well, we made it. It's pretty here in these mountains. And I guess that's the camp store right there. We'll go in and see. Big T. Wake up. Wake up, Big T. We're here at our campground for the night. So there's a parade going on. Yeah. That's why there was a fire truck with their thoughts on. This place is big. That looks like an indoor pool over there. It the does. A lot of ready for Memorial Day with all their flags. Mm -hmm. See the wagon over here? Yeah. Man, it's a big place and it's crowded, isn't it? Yeah. Good job, Mr. Friday. Yeah. I think that's good right there. I like this spot. You know what? Yeah, this here. Oh, we're going to put this out for Big T. Yeah. It is cool here in the mountains. It is. It was 60 something today, but now it's down to like 59, 60. This is a pull through site, concrete, got a um, picnic table, fire pit, a couple Adirondacks here, and all this area for Big T to use the restroom. That's, a, that's all right, isn't it? But, right here in the mountains, oh man, love me the mountains, look at him, he's been half asleep, you stay right there, we're going to get some electric cooked up, so we use this ATG Fox 30 amp, we're done. Comes. Guess who's eating his dinner? He loves it. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yes. So you know what? We've been on the road all day, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to get hooked up here to Wi-Fi. Put the bed out. We're just going to chill out here for a little while. And we'll be back with you guys for some, um, some dinner. And we'll just see what happens. Right now, it's relax time what you do at the campground well the rain subsided I have a brief shower there you can see the sun's coming out but man the, the smell of campfires kids on bicycles people cooking food it smells so good okay so here is the campground it is a big campground down here's where you come in off of um, Big Cove Road we're up here in a pull through site you can tell all this and all these cabins all this would be on the river some things around several this is the uh, office we'll head, we'll head over there in a second but um, this is a real nice area isn't it honey got restrooms and a big pool over there outdoor and there's the big indoor pool yeah this is a pretty good sized pool right here Looks like a place over there for the kids. Over there. And then uh, hot tubs kind of over there. Lots of folks in those over there. So we kind of came in the back door, didn't we? Yeah. We got sunglasses. We got ice cream right here. She's trying it on. Oh, and it's got the thumb planks on it too. You like that? Keep your hands on it. <laughs> so stickers. Look at that. Squeeze. Make sure that 
Mm. Look at that, they've got bold peanuts here. Yeah. Karen got the sweatshirt. Yeah. I like it. It's kind of different. Anytime we run Camp into something, anytime we run into something that's kind of different, yes. we are, we're drawn to it. I guess yes. you say. Bold peanuts. I've had them. No, I don't like them. I don't care for them either. Uh -uh. You know, and something about it tastes kind of like a, a pinto bean, which I like pinto beans. <laughs> but if they're pinto beans. Yeah, if they're pinto <laughs> beans, if they're uh, mm -hmm. peanuts. I don't know. Maybe we need to try them again sometime. Well, people like them, but I don't. I don't like them. I don't need to try them again to know I don't like them. <laughs> I think I may try them again sometime. Okay, did you see the bear on top over here? The, yes. <laughs> was a little mining area, I guess. Yeah. For the kids? You can buy a bag of mining stuff in the store. Lots of stuff in here for the kids. So I hear that kind of wise this way and that way, and there's campsites all over through there. All out through here. There's a little dog park right here. Yeah. Canine. See it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, beside right the big checkers. Yeah. All these sites over here are actually pretty spacious. And you got all these cabins up through here headed back up to kind of where we're staying out up there. Mm -hmm. These look bigger than some of the ones at the entrance. Yeah. Yeah, and there's one right there and one right here and then another one. I guess for dogs, the little kids got a little playground up here on this end of the can't go. Pretty nice. And we saw some uh, little cabins back over there mm -hmm. and motorcycles parked up. So, yes. if you're a motorcycle rider, you probably a good place to get a inexpensive place to stay there, a small little cabin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here and look at the river real quick. These cabins would be nice right here on the river. Yeah, and they look pretty big. And this campground most of the cabins are on the river, and I haven't seen a lot of campsites on the river. No. no mostly cabins. It's mostly cabins, right. Yeah, but that sure is pretty. Mm -hmm. Several people have been over here fishing. Yeah. Okay, home sweet home. I say we cook something. Yeah, we got to get dinner going. Get we, late. Are we cooking on the Blackstone or not? We are. Okay. Look at Big T in there. So for those of you new to our channel, this is an old Blackstone we've been using forever. But for gas, we have a connector built on the van. Comes that way right there. That we connect up for our fuel. And it works really good. Have We're having chicken quesadillas. Yes, chicken quesadillas. I'm going to put a little olive oil down first. Tell everybody what you put on that chicken there. So this is Tyson roasted chicken. It's already cooked. You're just basically warming it up, sauteing it or grilling it. And I have olive oil drizzled on it and fajita seasoning. Just chicken on here and get it cooking. Some butter in there with that in a minute. Okay, so the chicken is pre-cooked, so it shouldn't take it very long. Karen's got the cheese and some other stuff going inside, and we'll be eating in no time here. Got some Lando Lakes. Again, most of the stuff we use, like this knife, is in the description in our Amazon link. some sour cream here. We're gonna eat good, aren't we? I think I'm cutting all the way through the plate. <laughs> These paper plates. Yeah, this knife is so sharp. 
All right. We got some white cheese dip and sour cream. That's yeah. I like to dip mine in. All right, let's pray. Go ahead, then. Lord, we love you and worship you and bow before your majesty and splendor and glory. Thank you for a safe trip today and uh, for this beautiful spot and campground. Thank you for this food. Bless it to our nourishment. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. How are you thinking about doing this cheese? Just dipping it in it or you putting can. some on it like this? Oh. You can. Either one. Oh, man. I think I got too much. I like to dip it in sour cream too. We're eating good tonight in the mountains. <laughs> and it smells like a campfire out here, I'm telling you. Mmm. Mmm. It's hard to beat a smash burger. That's a good that's good. That's a good dinner, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That is really good. And um, the key is putting a little bit of fajita seasoning yeah. on that chicken, which we just thought about spur of the moment when we were in the grocery store. Because you don't want it just to taste like roasted chicken <laughs> and then cheese. Mm. And <laughs> it's messy. It's a messy meal. <laughs> I think the key is having the chicken already pre-cooked. Oh, yeah. That too, but... When you get Tyson roasted chicken like that and it's fresh for so long, all you have to do is warm it up. I have to chop it. It was bigger pieces, so I chopped it up a little bit. Olive oil and the seasoning and just basically warming it up. Mm -hmm. Lots of places we've camped. It's kind of just been us and a few others. Mm -hmm. But a true camping season has hit, folks. Yes. It's here. <clears throat> and alive and well it is yeah <laughs> so far we're enjoying the campground we'll tell you uh, in the morning we're gonna have a little breakfast we'll tell you thoughts about the campground and we're headed down to cherokee yeah yeah we'll get a fire going in a minute we'll see you there Gotta clean the grill off and big tea. How's your dinner, buddy? Hmm? Okay. Fire is going. <laughs> what was that? The fire is going. <laughs> Let it mesmerize you. Big tea is chilled out. Mm -hmm. We had a good dinner. Well, a beautiful evening here. Yes. So what's our chat going to be about? Well, earlier we were talking about just simply, which is not that easy, but it's simple, staying in the moment. Just being in the moment and being present in the present. But just being in the moment. Staying in the moment, being yeah. present. Being in the moment. Just because, like, our travel trips now and um, holiday long weekends and holidays and traditions with family and stuff if you're not being if we're not being in the moment it's just all going to go by so fast um, it, it's like this if, i mean we're camping and filming and traveling if we're not careful we start thinking about filming when it's about the moment the time that we can spend yes. with one another uh, so that's good well and even when I think about, oh boy, <laughs> when I think back to when our kids were little, it's like, in some ways, it doesn't seem like that many years have gone by, um, and now we have grandkids, and it seems like we memories come up. Cheers. Cheers. And social media and stuff, or on our phones, and we're like going, oh, do you remember when they were babies? Even our kids, when they have birthdays and stuff, it's like, and we can remember when Big T was a little puppy. He only weighed five pounds. <laughs> and it's like, if you don't enjoy the moment and be in those moments, those important moments and those daily, everyday moments, it's just gonna pass you by and they'll, 
one day they won't be there anymore. Yeah, you'll look back. You'll look back. You go, where did that 10 years go? Where did that mm -hmm. 20 years go? How did our son and our daughter go from five years old to 35? Right. And, and people, like we had a, <laughs> you didn't blister yourself, did no. you? We had a Dotson, some of you know, um, Sadie, that she passed away about three weeks after she turned 15. Um, be two years in October. Um, you know, we still have memories of her and miss her. Little, little Miss Sadie May. And Big T's not gonna live forever, much to our dismay. And people don't either, so, um, at least on this earth, so. Some of you have shared with us, you know, yeah. that you no longer have a certain loved one or a beloved pet. <clears throat> so being in the moment is important, isn't it? Yeah, I think just learning to live in the moment. And you have to kind of make that decision moment by moment. Because mm -hmm. if not, you get out of that before you realize it and you're living for everybody else's moment or you're living for work's moment or what is so many different things it's your moment here on this earth that we believe god's given you living in it is very important yes because you all know as well as we do how fast time seems to go by yeah if you watch these and smokes in my eyes and you're young maybe you just got your first child just stop and think and you know use wisdom take your time in life and enjoy those moments that you can never get back you can maybe redo them but one moment at a time right. i can even remember one more thing when our kids were Whew, that smoke's coming right at us they got my eyes when our kids were babies and toddlers how i was worried about because i have a tendency to be a perfectionist so i was worried about cleaning or something when I should have just been playing with them in the floor the whole time or when they were babies and they weren't sleeping well I should have been taking a nap when they were taking a nap so that I could enjoy the times that they were awake and I had the energy <laughs> and the rest I needed yeah so you know there's just lots of things to consider when you consider being in the moment Right at this moment, we have smoke going in our eyes. Yes, we do. So we're definitely living in it. But mm. don't you just love a campfire, mm. the campground, the smoke, the smell all over the place? Love it, love it, love it. We're going to enjoy this. Thanks for tuning in this this far. We're going to snuggle up here in a little bit, get Big T to bed. We'll see you in the morning, a cup of coffee. Yes. Maybe a biscuit or something. And um, mm. Yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Look at the smoke in the mountains up there. See that in the tips. Beautiful morning. Yeah, there's some right back up there. Well, what's it like getting ready in a Class B van? Yeah, some of you ladies might want to know, right? So, we, first off, we travel with our toiletries in a, a small cosmetic bag, well, a medium-sized um, deodorants and toothpaste and stuff like that, and I have a curling iron and a makeup bag in there, a moisturizer. Of course, I always have my handy dandy hats, but I use this mirror right here on the inside of our pantry as a as a nice mirror. There's one in the bathroom too, the uh, wet bath. This one with all the light seems to do better. So this is where I stand and put my stuff right here if I want to 
curl my hair or just brush it out for a hat and then put my makeup on right here. Awesome. Well, we got uh, we, we brought some biscuits. We said we warm those up, put a little jelly on them yeah. for breakfast. Do something simple. All right, we got some biscuits here. Butter and jelly on. Yeah. We got a quite of a can't see them. array of jams and jellies and apple butter. Yeah. Um, I wanted to tell you what we thought about the campground. You want to go first? You want me? You want me to? Um, I'll go first. I think it's a great campground. It's really nice. It's huge. <laughs> the biggest campground I guess we've stayed in to date. Yeah, it is big. And um, it's crowded for the holiday weekend. But um, I think that's great. I, I, I do love too. Uh, all the people, and the kids, and the bicycles. Yeah, it's been neat because we've been like out just a few of us in some campgrounds before yeah but the amenities are awesome as far as stuff for kids to do uh, even a dog park but the play ground and the jump air thing and indoor pool outdoor pool that little water park over there it would be great for kids it would absolutely be great for kids yeah and I was checking, there are some sites on the river. Obviously, they're all taken because we got a kind of a late start on this trip. Yes. But um, Verizon, two bars right mm -hmm. here where we're at. And the Wi-Fi is adequate. Been watch some stuff on the computer. We got a little bit of work done. Couldn't do anything real heavy. But no. mm -mm. Um, this is a great spot. And I noticed as I've been walking around some, there seems to be quite a bit of space in between oh uh, that's what i the, said the on our tour yeah it's always a bonus for us when we're when we're looking look at mm -hmm. some smuckers here that's what i was saying on our walking tour last night i didn't see any spots that were on top of each other as with all the places we stay you want to check online folks and um, just check the prices we're here on a holiday which is pretty pricey but we encourage you to always Go online, check out. If you don't have a camper and you want to stay in a cabin, they've got those. Mm -hmm. And there's lots to see here. You're just um, a few miles from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And my biscuit is ready. Look at that. <laughs> Smuckers, strawberry jam. Mm-hmm. I got grape. Concord grape. <laughs> Jelly. Would we come back here? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Campground. It was really easy to get to and in a good location. Yes. And there's a lot to see here in, in the Cherokee area. Of course, you got Bryson City and um, Waynesville. We love Waynesville. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, Conaluf Key Visitor Center mm -hmm. is just up the road. Uh, so many, so many things. The Eli Mill that you can check out. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to eat these and um, you want to show them that? Okay, there you go.